Hi everyone, it's me, Bill O. As many of you already know, I'm on the cutting edge of technology every day. One of the hottest new technologies to make it in the home market is 3D video. Now, I get asked about this all the time, like this recent telephone call I had. Hello? Hi Bill, this is one of your smart friends. Oh hey, how can I help you? Can you tell me how do 3D cameras work? How can I record something in 3D? And how could I view 3D videos? Wow, that's a lot of questions. Uh, let me see what I can do, okay? Okay, great. Thanks, Bill. By the way, your haircut looks great. You hardly look bald at all. If you have a chance, please hit one of the subscribe buttons. And I hope you're enjoying the video. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your comments. So the first thing you need to understand is that we see the world in 3D because we have two eyes. This is called stereoscopic vision. Stereoscopic is from Latin stereo meaning uh, like a sound system and uh, scopic uh, optics, right? So visual, so it's uh, like you can see music. Uh, your two eyes show you the world from two slightly different perspectives. And when those perspectives get into your brain, your brain uses them to uh, form a three-dimensional image of the world, hence 3D. Three-dimensional image, 3D. That's each D stands for 3d cameras do the same thing they actually have two separate cameras that are about three or four inches apart which is about the distance your eyes are from each other and they create your two different perspectives if you want to record something in 3d then you'll need to have two cameras i have here two old iphones that i've rigged up in this little thing here uh, that are the proper distance apart it's about the same as my eyes um, and with this i can record 3d i'll have a link down below showing you how to make this very simple rig. The next big hurdle you have to overcome is presenting your videos side by side and queuing them up so that they can be presented in uh, 3D goggles. And for that, we need to go to the computer. With some of the video I recorded using my rig. For best results, I suggest that you use a tripod and a lot of light. I'm going to drag my two videos over. This is my left eye, and this is the video that I recorded for the right eye. You can see that the left eye is a little bit longer and that's fine. First thing I want to do is select my cropping tool and I want to rotate my video counterclockwise. Now the next thing I did was while I was setting up for the recording I snapped my right finger camera. in front of each one of the right lenses so I'd know left which one was left and which one was right. The other thing that did was create spikes in my audio track, which you can see right here. Right camera. So what I want to do is line up these spikes. I got one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So if I can click right about on it and drag it over, it's pretty good. Let's see. Right camera. Left camera. Next thing I want to do is trim off the video that I don't need. And then delete those two. The next thing I want to do is come up to my cutaway options up here. And instead of cutaway, I want to have a split screen. And now let's see how it looks. Right camera. Left camera. Hi everyone, it's me, Billo. Video is just about lined up. And now I want to just trim off the end. Right about there is good. All right, so that's how quick and easy it is to trim it. And now I can upload it to YouTube. To see your video in 3D, you'll need to go to a viewer that will allow each eye to only see the video that was created for that particular eye. These viewers are pretty cheap nowadays. You can get them in a variety of different formats. This one here, so you pop your phone in, you can usually fix the focus some way or another, and then you put it on and wow, it's like actually being here. Nice. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave some comments down below and let me know if you try doing this and if it works out for you.